Hello boys and girls and fellow YouTubers. This is Big Boss Jim coming to you uh, as live as I can be from Big Boss Jim's model shop. Uh, I'm using my webcam on this one at the beginning of this just because I'm too lazy to set up my uh, camcorder. So I'm going to see how it works. Anyway, uh, this is going to be a little, uh, another update three on the uh, Lincoln Continental and uh, a few do's and don'ts on this kit. Uh, this kit is not one that is rather faint-hearted. It's uh, a nice kit. I like it, but uh, there's a lot left off and uh, you've heard me say uh, mock-up, mock-up, mock-up. Well, I'll show you one of my goof-ups, you know, that uh, something I did and I thought would be right and it wasn't. So I had to redo and uh, another thing is I uh, was going to paint the uh, chassis and all that flat black. Well, I was out of flat black and uh, being an old fart that's on Social Security, uh, you know, the money's not always there when you need it uh, with payday coming once a month. So I didn't have the money to go buy some uh, flat black, but I had some gloss and uh, I sprayed it on the uh, chassis. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was just bad, bad paint. Uh, it seems like I used this once before and it uh, didn't do exactly right on me. So, uh, but it messed up and uh, I'm going to have to try to uh, send that out and uh, and uh, redo it and hope it turns out okay. I don't know if I can get into all the places to sand it right or not. But uh, that's what this is going to be. Uh, a do's and don'ts and I'll show you a few things that I did <laughs> on this build. Okay? So... Uh, Hang in there with me, fellas. Later. Okay, uh, I'm back with you uh, from the model shop. Uh, this is where I did a goof up. Uh, this piece here is one piece. Uh, it was the inner skirts on this car. Okay. Where I goofed is putting the fenders on there, all right? I lined it up with a cow and glued it. And uh, it appeared, and even there are arrows, that the fender edge set right on top of this, all right? Well, it didn't, and I had glued the fenders there and uh, down the front part, okay? That was goof up number one. Uh, as I said, mock up, mock up, mock up. Well, I didn't mock up the grill. And it totally did not fit. So I had to take the glue, uh, my uh, hobby knife, X Acto knife, and cut the fenders loose from here. Okay? So that's what I did my one goof up okay let me bring it around here all right what I after I got the uh, after I got the uh, I know it looks like a mess now with it all spotted up and everything but uh, that's because uh, this weird kit I've had to paint the interior it's going to be a joke when I get ready to body paint this mask and everything off and uh, Like I said, I painted the uh, undercarriage black, gloss black, and I was going to put dull coat on it to dull it down. But I haven't got to that stage yet because it's a mess under there. I, I don't know what happened or why, but it just totally screwed up. But anyway, what I had to do uh, was set the grill in there, okay? Like I have it now. It's not glued in because I'm... I don't want that on, have to mask off when I do paint. 
okay and then I made a uh, let me see if I can open this thing up without destroying the car um, what I did is cut a piece of styrene to set up here okay the exact width as it was there then I took the grill out okay and from the underside I glued the uh, fenders with gel super glue and spots okay because there was a gap in this skirt and uh, if you can see the uh, the fenders did not glue to the top of it and if I brought it in to glue to the side I couldn't get the grill in okay so that's what I did and then super glued from the bottom side uh, with the gel which I'm out of too now got to get more of that and uh, that's what I had to do okay now as I was saying uh, with this kit it's not it's not completed now there's holes back here that I want to try to fill but I'm going to put a prototype type photo up uh, of the front and you'll see more precisely what I'm talking about but there needs to be a shroud about yay tall that comes and goes across in front and back you know on each side to make this more realistic and I'm hoping that I can do that and still be able to clear the hood okay all right so, like I said, the, the grill, it just, well, maybe it did stick somewhere. Okay. The grill I just uh, had in there, but uh, uh, as you can see, the, the, the hood still rests partially on the fenders which I would have thought would needed to sit down in there but then if you do then you got big gaps around your grill so that's the reason I fit everything to the grill okay uh, on the uh, yes I did get the uh, top painted I had to do some work on the top uh, it wasn't a very good fit at all so I had to put this flat bead around the top which uh, a lot of the convertible tops did have that and uh, on some of the cars I suppose that replaced that top uh, to restore it they had the same thing around there so I did that on the top but back here there was big gaps uh, where you see I got the gobbed up putty on it okay so I had to build that up I used a piece of styrene okay to fill here alright and uh, I gotta sand that down and smooth it and make sure you know everything fits uh, like I said I had to uh, I'm doing the interior I call it chocolate it's actually a walnut color but uh, I'm doing it that in tan and I'm putting some uh, uh, the uh, what do you call it stuff for the carpets and that which I got to redo once I get uh, farther along with the interior I'm going to leave the dash out of it and that till I get it painted uh, actually the frame here on the inside should be the same color as the body color according to the prototype I'm still working on the uh, continental kit as you can see it uh, covering the seams and that on it's a kind of a joke too but I'll get her done I'm trying once again like I said I'm, I'm using these tires I'm using these tires uh, I'm trying to stay away from painting them if I have to I hate painting them white walls on these things so I'm going to try once again I made decals once before and uh, 
for the white walls. So I'm going to try it again. The, the other time when I did it, I put a light coat of clear over the, the decals to uh, protect them. But it was so flimsy, I, I just had all kinds of trouble. I could, like I'm saying, I, my, I got clumsy hands and half the time I got the shakes. Uh, so I kind of put the, some heavy coats of dull coat on it hopefully to thicken them up to where I can position them before the uh, set up. So I'm going to try that again on that. So that's where we're at with this kit. And uh, like I said earlier, oh, I haven't showed you down underneath, but it's a mess. It's a mess. Uh, it's wrinkled all over. You know, I, I don't know if I didn't have it clean or, or what the deal was, but uh, I don't like that. I'm going to have to try to sand it out on the bottom of my running boards. Uh, I'm going to try to sand it out and redo it. And if I get it looking right, then I'm going to detail it. And I'll probably brush paint the detailing and then uh, spray the dull coat over all of it to tone it down. I don't like a shiny bottom side. Uh, it's cool on a custom car, but on a factory car, no, they just wasn't, they just wasn't that way underneath. Okay, so that's where I'm at with it. Slow but sure. Another thing I got to do, there's a key lock here, and they had buttons to, for the doors. Okay, they were very faint on the car in the beginning and uh, you know just a light sanding over it looks like they're disappearing so I'm gonna have to figure out something to do there to get those back in and like I said the reason I had to paint the interior is because these side panels is all just one piece uh, the interior is not separate it's molded into it so you just about have to uh, do it like I'm doing, you know, and paint it, and, and then I'll have to try to mask everything off as tight as I can get it when I do paint the actual body. I don't care if I get some overspray on the on the underside because that was a common thing too, but if that happens, that happens. Okay? So that's where I'm at with this one, gentlemen. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, this is Big Boss Jim signing out from the Big Boss Jim's model shop saying bye-bye.